Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching our video today. And today, we're going to do something a little fun. So previously, we did a little unboxing video uh, talking about some of the merchandise we got for the Disneyland 65th anniversary. And we thought that was just so much fun sharing that. And some of you guys even told us uh, some of the things that you got. So that was really cool to see. Uh, so we want to do some more stuff like that. And today, we're actually going to show you some of the Funko Pops uh, that we've added to our collection. These are all from San Diego Comic-Con uh, Virtual Con. So during the San Diego Comic-Con uh, weekend, which unfortunately could not be done in person, uh, was all done online. And Funko got in the fun of that, releasing all limited edition exclusive Funko Pops. And so we picked up seven of them for ourselves and we want to share them with you. And the first one we're going to show is the mascot for San Diego Comic-Con, the Toucan. And this one is really cool because he is in his superhero outfit. He is all jacked up. He has his, uh, his costume on, his waving cape in the back. And it is just super cool. I think the detail in it. And this is a limited edition. There were a couple different ones. Uh, for the toucan, but we definitely liked the superhero one. So we're glad we picked that one up. And speaking of superheroes, my favorite superhero of all time, but in a variation, it's going to be Cyborg Superman. Superman's my favorite superhero. Uh, but this one's really cool in that DC superheroes line. So you can see the detail in there again, part of his face being that cyborg face. And then you can see a little bit his skull and then his hair popping out, but you still his costume. He just looks fantastic there. And actually you can see on the bottom his leg, his arm also robotic. And so it's just really cool detail. And next up we got one of Michaela's favorite movies of all time. Probably actually her favorite movie of all time. We got Marty McFly from Back to the Future. This time he has his uh, his vest on, his sunglasses on his head, and he's checking his watch. There's a lot of different variations that they have for Back to the Future. You can see some of them on the back. There's a lot of brand new ones they put out recently. I think this summer they put out a new line. And this is one of those that is just that limited edition uh, from Funko. So we're glad that we were able to pick this up. And this was one that Michaela absolutely had to have. We weren't able to get it from the... Uh, Funko Virtual Con, but luckily this one was one of the shared retailers with Box Lunch, so we picked up it with Box Lunch. It is Yizma from Emperor's New Groove, but as a cat. So at the end of the movie, when she drinks the potion, she becomes a cat. This is that. You can even see she has a little vial with the, with the potion there, and she has her menacing grin. She even looks evil as a cat too, but it's really cute and Michaela's super happy uh, when we were able to buy this. Now the last three Funko Pops are from one of my favorite comedy movies of all time. And when I saw they were making this line, I knew I had to get them. And the first one is the leader of the group from Anchorman, Ron Burgundy. That beautiful man with the beautiful mustache has his red suit on, has his Channel 4 News team mug. It is awesome. Now, there were three different Ron Burgundies that they had. There was this one. There was Ron with his dog Baxter and then also him playing the Yaz flute at the club. But we decided to go with just the classic him with the mug from the broadcast. And we had to pick up the three characters that they did have available again. Like I said, I, we chose from those three different Ron Burgundies, but we also had Breck Tamlin, our Weatherman, Steve Carell, I think probably one of my favorite Steve Carell performances. He's just great. He's holding the banana there, has his favorite snack, and he enjoys a nice pair of slacks. And finally, we got the man who's out on the street making those reports and seducing those ladies, Brian Fantana, Paul Rudd from Anchorman, and he is just so perfect here. It's actually a scented one because, as you can see, in his hand, in his right hand, he is holding Sex Panther. And you know the thing about Sex Panther, 60% of the time, it works every time. So one of the weird things about the Anchorman Pops is that they didn't have the entire Channel 4 news team. 
Uh, they had the main three, but they didn't have Champ Kind, their sports guy. So whammy! They didn't have him in the collection. Veronica Corningstone, she wasn't in the collection. And then even some of the ancillary characters, like I would have loved to see like a Fred Willard's character, him having a pop, or even Vin Vaughn's character, I think from Channel 2 News. Um, so that would have been cool. And so if they release those in the future, I'm definitely going to pick those up. But those are the seven pops. There were a ton of pops that got released for San Diego Comic-Con. I know some of the popular ones were also like Black Lightning. There, were, Like I said, there were a couple other, those Anchorman ones that we didn't get. So there were just a ton of pop uh, popular ones that were sold during San Diego Comic-Con. So if you were able to pick up any of those San Diego Comic-Con pops, let us know which ones you got in the comments down below and also which are the ones that we added to our collection or some of your favorites. We'd love to hear from you. Make sure you like this video. It definitely helps us out and subscribe for these future videos. Again, I think we're going to do more of these in the future because it is really fun for us to show our Funko Pop collection because we are continuously adding new ones. So I think we'll continue to do that with you. It is just a lot of fun. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And uh, we'll see you real soon.